You have all your children yeah. right now? Yes. Okay. So, you know, I haven't reviewed your case, so I can't tell you why they did something. It doesn't sound like uh, they should have done anything, especially if you have your children in your custody. Welcome back to The Secret, How to Fight Child Protective Services and Win. I'm Cynthia Becker with Attorney Vince Davis. I wanted to remind everybody that I am the host of the reality series, CPS The Horror Stories. And if you have a story to tell, please message us on Facebook at the reality series, CPS The Horror Stories. And the caller I'm going to answer is actually my daughter, Josie. Hi, Mama. Hi, honey. Do you want to tell everybody what you do? Yes. I am the host of my own show called The um, The Real Victims of CPS. And I interview the children that have been taken away from their parents. And they tell me what life was like in foster, in the foster system. Yeah. Foster, yep. Keep going. And I, um, they, they talk about what happened and how they were abused and, like, how they felt. And sometimes, um, like, I can, I interview, um, I interview kids and, like, anyone who's been taken away. Yes, you do. (laughs) And if you, so if you have a child that the case is closed and you have your children or child back and they would like to share their story, you can message us either on my page, which is the reality series, CPS The Horror Stories, or the real victims of CPS, which is Josie's page, and she will set up, we will set up an interview for her to interview the child or children. Thank you, Joe, for calling in. You're welcome. Love you. All right, let's take another call right now from Vel from California. Hi, uh, yes. Vel, did you have a story to tell or a question to ask? I have both. Go ahead. So, uh, a little bit about my story is um, I'm a single father, uh, a man of six kids. Um, I've been having my four oldest for the last two, two and a half years or whatever. Um, it wasn't a court order. <clears throat> well, man and mom had came to agreement and stuff like that or whatever. Um, and the message that she ended up going to jail for dealing with her other um, baby daddy, whatever. They baby had died. So um, I went to pick up my other daughter because uh, she guess I got involved, but they said they wasn't open up the case. That case happened in Vegas or whatever. So I get her, um, and this that, so the mom did about like a year and a half. Um, and when she got out, when I went to pick up my daughter from Vegas, um, the judge never told me that mom never lost her rights or she couldn't be around the kids. So when she got out, you know, uh, I thought it's kind of best for me to, you know, take, you know, take them, you know, see their mom and stuff like that. And then the next day, we end up having another baby, which is through, um, he was born last month on the 5th. Uh, and the next day, she also had got her tools tied. They did induce, um, get her, um, anesthesia or whatever. Um, so she told them this is not her first pregnancy. This would be like the eighth pregnancy or whatever. And, uh, she had seven living and one deceased. So, um, and she also said she went to jail. So the hospital uh, came back into the room, said they had that in bar CPS. I told I asked them why. I have custody of my kids, and when we get discharged with this baby, I was taking this baby too. So I'm just going through 
the process is last month or whatever. My next court date is on the 8th. Everything is kind of looking good on my side or whatever. But I just want to, you know, see, like, exactly why. I mean, if she, if we both agree that I'm taking the kids and she wasn't having them, you know, why did the case still open? And then they also removed the kid, uh, one of my child, but I got them now. So you and, have, uh, you, Bill, me, Bill, you have all your children yeah. right now? Yes. Okay. So, you know, I haven't reviewed your case, so I can't tell you why they did something. It doesn't sound like uh, they should have done anything, especially if you have your children in your custody. What I would advise you to do is to work closely with your attorney and make sure mm -hmm. that he or her are kept, you know, informed about what's going on in the case. I would email them you know, maybe every day, every other day to keep them informed and try to work out a plan where you can get your case closed and, you know, with all the kids in your custody. Okay? Yeah, okay. Because he had, uh, the last court day we just had was a couple of days ago. Um, all right. He, um, he um, did send me back and said everything was looking good, but it seems like they want to remove my interest baby. And I'm asking him why, you know, that doesn't make sense if you're going to leave all the kids, my other kids in my care, and you just want to come remove the infant baby. Right. That doesn't, you know. That doesn't make sense? From basically yeah. what you've told me, I would make sure you talk to your attorney and tell him you want to be fighting for that child as well as all of your children to remain with you. Hey, Vel, I want to thank mm -hmm. you for calling. Thank you for listening. Call us in a few weeks and let us know what's going on in your case. Alrighty? Okay, thank you. Thank you.